checks Team Liquid and uses Yabot. Learns when to drone and when to not. Now that he's back in season three, he's afraid the new ladder just might be. Plain old bronze heard a story about a man who was too afraid to play, so he never did win. Tell me, did the game sweep you off your seat? Did you finally get the chance to dance inside the player's base? I beat a toss in a macro game. Tell me, did placement blow your mind? Oh god, that's right. I get minerals so fast now. Alright. So, like, I'm really liking this, um, this, like, two-gate before cyber strategy. Like, it's really good. Because it allows me to get out enough, like, units to do harass early. And at the same time, like, I don't have to commit a ton to it either. And it allows you to get your tech so much faster. Like, it just feels really good. Feels like something that Protoss should have been able to do a long time ago. Just feels so good. You've ever seen. Dance inside a player's base. Beat a toss in a macro game. I shouldn't have chrono boosted that like eight. Nah, that's fine actually. Now I just need to not ever chrono boost again, essentially. Marines were shooting their guns. Yeah, because I'll have about 50 energy by the time the cyber core finishes. And that means I'll be able to double chrono boost on the um on the adepts. Alright, we can move out to take the expo right about now. It's gonna be a second because uh, I have to make those two adepts, but it's no bigs. Such an early expansion, and you can really hold it too, is the thing. Because with two adepts, like, what is he gonna do? Make zealots? Well, it's too bad. I have two adepts. Like, zealots aren't gonna do jack. Alright, now we can start up our gas. Get the mothership core on to way. Boop. Oh, I didn't even corner boost my adepts. I'm so bad. But I'm gonna throw in a forge now. Forge is really important in this matchup because the more efficient your units are, the better you're always going to be doing. Alright, we'll go for Twilight Council next. We already listened to this song. That is some sick random. An Aradeen Rashagal. I've already gotten like four or five probes. That was so cool. I got so many probes with these though. These people are not like adapting fast enough to the new meta. They're trying to go the old builds in a new game, essentially, and it's not how this works. It's not how any of this works. Alright, and then we're gonna get a stalker next, and then just uh, probes from here. Yeah, but we got like we got like six or seven probes with those adepts. So I'm pretty sure <laughs> that was probably a worth it adapt to rush there. Like, I didn't do a whole bunch of damage with the adepts in the PvT game. But the thing that, that I did do was I forced him to not take an expand for a really long time. Alright, we can pick up our sentry now. Rally that 
inside my base. Alright. When you bust me like that. It feels so weird to me that I can build three units with 75 gas. That doesn't feel right. Especially the, considering they aren't zealots. Alright, we're gonna go for Blink next. Alright, we have plus one. Like, 100 minerals, 25 gas, like, I, it just feels really odd to me. I'm actually gonna go for stalkers here. Luckily, I have super tanky adepts now, so we should be able to get something done here. Yeah, he's only got, like, zealots and stuff. He's screwed. OP race! I just gotta make sure I keep up on my macro. Alright, so we actually, we're in like such a good spot right now. Oh my god, adepts are really good, guys. Adepts are really good. <sighs> adepts are so good. Like, they make it so that stalker, like, you can't just go pure blink stalkers anymore. Because they tank so much damage that, like, like, the thing is, stalkers already don't do anything against adepts. But once you get that HP upgrade, like, they're so tanky.